Hi everybody, Russell here. All right, so let's get right into the analysis this week. What I'm going to do here is I've clicked on viewers and then I'm going to go and click on watch list viewer and you can set up your own group if you wish. So I'll just do that, uh, new group and let's give it the name here. I'll call it gold stocks. Okay, there we go. So I've created the group drop down again, I'll put a watch list within the group and let's give the name Gold Stocks, here we are, and click add. So we've got it all set up, ready to go. Let's hop over to UniSearch. Here in UniSearch, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the first parameter box, blank one here, stocks, filter by, and then I'm going to say industry group, so this is for Australia, operator equals and then I'm going to click on Selected Industries. And for Australia, we're going to scroll down to Materials, Brackets Gold. It's going to bring back all the gold stocks. Push OK. Run the search. And there we are. So we'll bring back the stocks here. Instead of the top 20, I'll ensure I select all. I'll run the search again. We've got them all. So I'll click on the first one here. Scroll all the way down to the last one. Hold my shift key to grab them all. Right click anywhere on any of the stocks. So right click, add to watch list. And then VectorVest will remember where you've just last set up. But there it is, gold stocks for the group. That's the watch list I want to add to. I'll push OK. And that's all there is to it. Now I can go back to viewers, per my watch lists. Gold, I'll auto fit all columns here. 165 in total. Okay, so 165 in total. Now let's get to work and let's clean this up. Let's find the best quality gold stocks money can buy in Australia. So what I'm going to do here, I've got uh, some really good parameters I can consider. So first up, what about sorting it by growth rate? It's just a different way of looking at things. I'm going to sort it by GRT, all right, being earnings growth rate here. Okay, so you can see as I scroll across over here, here's GRT, 39% at the top, and all the way down to the bottom here. You see I'm only showing the top 25, but even at number 25, it's 13. Now for the analysis, I want to show all. Okay, so select all. So we're going to bring all of the stocks back. Let's come back here to GRT, top one at 39. Now I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, negative 12. Okay. So let's be fussy here because we've got plenty of stocks to choose from. Let's say we only want an earnings growth rate of at least 10% or better. So there we are, nine doesn't make the cut. And below, I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And there we go. Right click and delete item. So I'm going to take out all of the ones there where GRT was below 10. All right, below 10. Next thing to do here, this is a sell rated, so I'll remove that one as well. I don't want a sell rated stock on my list at this point. All right, let's scroll all the way back here. Next thing to look at, relative safety. Let's find some of the best financial companies out there. So RS, top one at 1.31, all the way down to 0.76. On a scale of 0 to 2, we want it 1 or better. Uh, typically, you know, that's what you want, right? You don't want to be finding an RS below 1. Why not find as high above 1 as possible? So there we go, 0.98, and I'll scroll down to the bottom here. And again, right-click, delete item. We're going to remove any stocks where the RS is less than 1. Let's click on price. Uh, let's have a look. All right, so we've got a penny stock here. 15 cents. I'll take out the penny stock. I don't want any penny stocks. So I'll take that one out. All right, so we're now left with nine. The last check and balance I'm going to do, I'm going to go and graph all of these stocks. So graph selected. And I'm going to remove any stocks where the earnings profile is currently declining. All right, so make a note of this one here, AQG. And this one here, AGG, it's declining. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Look, it is falling currently over here. We'll need to keep an eye on it, but on average, it's going up. And that's okay. And that's okay. All right, so these two here. So AQG and AGG. 
let's delete these ones out there we go seven in total that's the short list using the power of unisearch to create a watch list to then refine further look at that price of 499 value of 832 and if you look at the growth rate uh, an astounding 30 percent good rv good rs good fundamentals technicals doing what you want let's right click the bottom line here view watch list average graph and have a look at that that's brilliant set of earnings rising rising earnings rising share price yes it's been a bit of volatility because of coronavirus but look at that the technicals have started to pick up again at that point there it breaks above one earnings firing up portfolio average value went from 3.29 to just on five dollars and if you pull that back over five years you'll see quite a strong pattern there isn't that great an excellent set of earnings a great price pattern there taking place let's repeat the exercise now and do this for the United States so here I am now for the United States same deal right I'm in viewers and I'm going to go now to watch list viewer and where it notes my watch lists I can put it in here or I can create a new group altogether let's do what we did in Australia so I'll click on a new group and let's give it the name here gold stocks here we are gold stocks and I'll click new watch list here we go so we'll give it the same name again gold stocks so we'll create a watch list within the group right ready to populate just like what we did with Australia let's click on uni search in here stocks filter by industry group operator equal to and where it notes value let's click on selected industries and now we're going to go and find the gold stocks in the United States. So here's the trick for the United States. It's under mining. Right? So if you come here, mining, brackets, gold and silver. Right? So gold and silver is incorporated there. So we're going to look at both gold and silver. That's okay. Let's bring that in. Let's run the search. And we've returned all same deal like we did in Australia you'll see I'm using the white background here just to differentiate between Australia and the United States if you want to change the background color click on tools application settings and it's the skin I've got the classic if you want to go to the dark background there Vector S7 I prefer the Vector S7 layout it's a great look but uh, the white background is really good too when we're presenting on the road okay uh, it makes it a bit brighter but uh, it depends you know which one do you prefer use the one that you prefer the layout of all right so I click on the first one here scroll all the way down to the bottom hold my shift key there we are select them all right click and then add to watch list vector is clever because remember where you were last right saying well is that the one you want yes that's the one I want push on okay there we go we're now going to populate it let's go back to viewers here we are gold stocks let's auto fit all gold stocks here make them look nice and neat there we are it's nice and neat and ready okay I'll just give us a bit more room here same deal let's do what we did in Australia so over here let's click on GRT growth rate here uh, there it's at 48 and uh, the worst one here all the way down at negative 12 so let's have the cutoff point of being 10 or better okay so I'll go down a little bit further here we go all right 10 or better so at this point that's a cutoff so we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom hold our shift key select all those stocks here right click delete item so we've taken out all the growth rate stocks there for gold and silver where the growth rate is uh, worse than 10 percent all right great good start relative safety let's click, click on relative safety here and uh, let's bring it up to the top of the list so anything below one there we are 0.98 come down to the bottom of the list here let's select that all there and delete selected there we go it's all gone and that's it uh, let's see any penny stocks no so no penny stocks good RV good RS scores on average technicals all above one good VST scores good CI buy rated great let's come down to the bottom right click view the watch list average and uh, let's do this I'll take off net profit margin just purely looking at the earnings look at those earnings very similar story to Australia great rising set of earnings rising portfolio value on average okay if I pull this back over five years 
you can have a look over here. So a little bit more volatile on the earnings, but still a very strong theme. Okay, just on that there, look at the net profit margin coming through. 30 cents in the dollar. If I look at the sales taking place, all right, this is in millions, 3724 mil. Okay, great set of earnings, strong net profit margin kicking in. Let's compare and contrast that again back to Australia in wrapping up here. So we come in again. Let's right click view watch list average graph here. And uh, let's add in the parameter. So under vector vest fields, I'll bring in net profit margin. Similar. So 31, bo both in the 30s. There we go. So very similar story taking place. If I bring in the sales, add parameter. Sales, market capitalization, sales, yearly sales. There we are. Look at those sales. But look at this. Interesting in Australia. Sales have kicked up. Whereas the stocks are showing in the US, the sales are kind of sort of um, sort of flatlined somewhat. And that's why I'm foreseeing a bit more upside on these group of stocks I've shortlisted in Australia for the fact that you can see it's undervalued. So price of four, just under $5, 490 odd, value of 832. So good upside potential growing their sales. This is looking like a strong set of stocks. On the US side of things, in terms of the shortlist that we've created there, very nice set of stocks. Gold stocks there, gold slash silver stocks. Most of them are gold from what I can see here. But you'll see price of 43, value of 38. So to get it in line with Australia, let's see anything where the price is significantly overvalued there. Price 162 versus 59. Just need to be aware of that one there. They're all pretty much neck on neck thereafter. So it might be that you remove this one if you want to get your price less in value. There we are, 26 versus 35. Let's have a look. One last look here in wrapping up and pulling it back over five years. Look at that. By removing that stock out there, brilliant set of earnings. And if I zoom it in here in recent times, look at that. Sales starting to pick up again. And we're certainly seeing the technicals starting to fire up again. And that's just how quick and easy it is to use VectorVest. Look at that. We've been able to shortlist. So we've been able to shortlist here a total of seven stocks for the United States in the gold slash silver sector and seven for Australia. Quick and easy and fun using VectorVest. Speak to you next week. Bye for now.